Josh, Chad, congratulations. All you need to do now is defeat the man standing next to you in our final round of competition, in which we send you back to your home forges for five days to recreate an iconic weapon from history. A pair of Bognac. Wow. Meaning Tiger's Claw, Bognac was a ruthless weapon originating from India. While concealed in the hand, it could serve up surprise attacks, resulting in deep gashes that pierced through both skin and muscle. This variation was called the Bishwa Bagnak and included a lethal blade that was made to resemble the sting of a scorpion. This design made it a triple threat where it could either thrust, slash, or claw its way into an opponent. One of the most well-known uses of the weapon is recounted in the history of the Maratha Empire, when Emperor Shivaji secretly wore a Bagnak and fatally disemboweled his enemy. Good luck, bladesmiths. We'll see you in five days. Good luck. Good luck. My name is Josh Prince. I started forging because my younger son wanted me to forge him a weapon for his action figure. So I forged a miniature sword for him. Since then, I've moved on to real blades. I plan to start working on the claws, which is going to be a challenge. I got to work on each one individually. I have to keep them the same the entire time. Now that I've got the claws in, the next step is heat treat. A lot of things can go wrong. I can overshoot the temperature and create problems in the steel, especially at the tip of the blade. Overheating would make it easier to break. If it cracks or warps, I start over again. Oh, shit. it looks like it took a warp. I hope I'm wrong because I don't have time to start over from zero. Maybe not. It's pretty straight. I don't know if I was seeing things or what. When I quenched the second blade, just beautiful. I can't believe it. I got both these blades through heat treat. They look pretty good. The rest of it is just fine detail work. The thing I'm most proud of are the design elements that I put into the blade. I love the forge black handle and the stark contrast between the handle and the blade. The tiger eye stones really bring the whole thing together as a tiger claw. There's a little scorpion stinger at the back, too. My name's Chad Atfield, and I'm a full-time iron worker. Being an iron worker really helps me in the forge because we know a bunch of types of steel. We work with torches. We work with hand tools all the time. So I am going to win. I want a nice, bold pattern. And hopefully, at the end of the day, I have the billets done. That turned out beautiful. I'm liking it. Claws are even. It's time to get ready for heat treat. There's five blades that I have to heat treat on one blade. So it's very difficult. <laughs> that is a very straight blade. Time for the second one. I'm liking it. It looks really nice. I'm going to put on the leather wrap for the handles to give it a little extra grip and to conceal the welds that I put on there. I'll test it and see if I like it. I think it'll be sufficient for stabbing. It can take a lot of abuse and also has a sharp edge. That's sharp. I feel really confident about these blades. I can't wait to see them being tested. Bladesmiths, to see what kind of lethal damage your weapon will do, we'll take your bagnac and deliver multiple slashes and thrust and claw at the spit carcass. Josh, you're up first. You ready for this? So ready. To be my tiger claw today, Please welcome back my brother, R.J. Markaida. All right, Josh. First up, it's comfortable. My three fingers in the middle allow me to grasp on to the claws easily and not feel that it's going to impede my movement with the hand. The clawing is very deep. Your slashes cut deep into this pig carcass. Overall, your bagnach will kill. Good job. Thank you. All right, Chad, your turn. You ready? Yes, sir.
All right, Chad, first up, the handle, it's on the thinner side. There's a little bit of movement there, but the positions where you have the claw is secure, it's safe. They're razor sharp. On the lacerations there, the slicing, it cuts deeply. Overall, your weapon will kill. Thank you. Well, RJ, I can see that your fighting skills have not changed since we were kids. You still scratch like a girl. Cat claws. <laughs> Thank you very much. I hope you had a lot of fun. Next up is the strength test. Ben? Bladesmiths, to test the strength and durability of your bog knock, I'm going to be clawing and stabbing away at these logs. Remember, this test is all about what happens to your blades, not what happens to the log. Josh, you're up first. You ready? I'm ready. Josh, the claws held up very well. There's no mark on them that they've ever even seen a tree. But you lost your tips. Yeah. The first one went as I started to pry, but the second tip, it cracked as soon as I stabbed in. I like the feeling of these in my hands. They were comfortable to wield, but I can't deny that they're not there anymore. Chad, you're up next. You ready? Yes, sir. Well, Chad, you lost one of your tips. The other one was scaring me, but it's in one piece. It held up well. I like that you did Damascus. I like the pattern of it. It's really pretty. Overall, well done. Thank you. All right, gentlemen, to test the sharpness of your blades, I'll be clawing and slashing at our Sandman here. Unlike the strength tests, this is all about what your weapons do to this target. Josh, you're up first. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. All right, Josh, these are sharp. You can see these cuts, just clean rakes across the chest. No tearing. I actually like that hook you've got. These are definitely cutters. Nicely done. Thank you. All right, Chad, you're up. You ready? Yes, sir. All right, Chad, these are amazingly sharp. Each one of those cuts is beautiful and clean. They're very light, very fast. I think you did a beautiful job. These are very nice weapons. Thank you. Bladesmiths, what started as a round one nuts and bolts challenge came down to these bog knock. Both of you have put in an incredible amount of work. Unfortunately, in this arena of competition, there can only be one Forged of Fire champion. Chad, congratulations. You are a new Forged and Fire champion. Good job. Josh, unfortunately, your bog knock did not make the cut. Please surrender your weapons. I'm a little discouraged, a little disappointed, but uh, I'll bounce back. Chad, congratulations. You are the new Forged and Fire champion, and that's a title that comes with a check for how much? 10000 That's right, $10,000. Good job. Please present your weapons to the judges. <laughs> I'm feeling really good right now. That's. <laughs> Lost for words. Being Forged and Fire champion, a surreal, I was able to show my best, and it makes me feel really proud. 